Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Asus Walk G17 2023 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the RAM on this one and how you can open it up and I'll try to give the link for these RAMs in the video description and the tools that I use so you can do your servicing or upgrade at home. I made a really short video so you can find out by watching that video what's your maximum RAM capacity on this laptop but this laptop easily can go up to we not have upgraded to 64 gig with no problem and I don't see any reason even for gaming to go over 64 gig but in this video I'm just gonna take you on a step by step how to be able to upgrade it all right first thing first you want to power up the laptop make sure it's off you want to grab yourself a one workshop towel or any kind of my fiber towel so you want to put it underneath so you don't want to scratch it so what are you going to do you're going to flip it over and down here the exact model for this one is a g713pi-ds94 that's the exact model so for the opening tool i'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set and if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are very really suitable to opening cases and covers. And also these screw bits are S2 class. That means they're really tough and steel and they will last you many years. You're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. And we're going to open up, remove a few screws under the cover. I'm gonna go over the size and the location of the screws. First thing first, if you flip it upside down in the front end is towards you. The front right corner screw on this one, you don't wanna touch that. You wanna just leave this one for the last. So leave that one. The front row screws, three of them all the way to the left side. These are the short screws. So you can go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile. There we go. Now, uh, there is a medium and the longest screws the rest the mediums are the one on the side back side and these are the four medium and the longest screws is the triangle in the middle which is uh, two on the mid backs and one in the center these are the long one so go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate pile also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helping you and to update upgrade your computers you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it all right there we go now that we remove all the screws the only screw that we left for the last it was the one in the corner i'm going to show you why because this screw has a little c lock on it that means the screw will not come out entirely uh, the, the c lock will prevent it from coming out and the reason is as soon as you start rotating this one, it's going to push the cover and it's going to create a gap between the palm rest and the bottom cover. And that's what, what we want. So you're going to see as soon as I start rotating this, so that it's not focusing, there, you can see it's pushing the bottom cover away from itself. And once you start making some those click sounds, that's when you want to stop. All right, now that made it easy for us to stick our guitar pick in between the palm rest and the bottom cover. You want to stick it right there. And you just want to twist it just go twisting around so you can release those tiny clips they do make a sound like a clicking sound so if it makes a big clicking sound don't worry about it just go ahead and do some twisting all around in the front end once you've done the front end twisting you can see it's already opening up because we still got to do some opening on the sides same thing that we did in here we want to do the same thing all around here go over the fan here over the exhaust and all the way to the back corner here. But I'm gonna start from the corner here. You can see that right there. And the guitar picks will not scratch, that's the best part. There we go. Once we finished this part too, now we're gonna go to the other side. Same thing on this side. We start from one corner and just wiggle the guitar pick in there or the opening tool. Okay, and once you get to the back, and that's all you need. 
Now we're gonna put it down. We're gonna lift it up and wiggle it around and it's gonna release the back end. So you don't have to do the back. Once you lift it, don't yank it upward. There's two cables. You wanna bring the back side up like that, like this. And then you're gonna see two flex cables right over here. These flex cables are for LED lights on the front. To release them, you can use a plastic spatula here, a plastic rod. You can lift this lock upward 90 degree and you can slide out the flex cable. Same thing in here. You can lift it up and slide it out. Or you can leave it and if you have a bigger table, leave it like that, but I rather remove it so I don't make any errors and damage in flex cables. And right there, you can see the big battery and under this isolating cover, it's the RAM. So for now, I'm gonna remove, so you can push your back, but I'm gonna remove it because I'm not adhesive. You don't need to do that, you just flip it over. And the RAMs are right over here. There's a two slot RAM available, two DIMMs. There's no four DIMMs or anything. Sometimes in the control panel, you're gonna see two or one out of four, two out of four, but, uh, until they fix that issue with the Microsoft, you might see a two RAM DIM. That's what they are in here. Two RAM DIMs, one, two. Now, you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery to do RAM upgrade at all. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you do want to do it, you have to push this metal cover back for a little bit and then put the opening tool underneath and lift up the upward towards the ceiling, the connector. When you want to put it back down, make sure you bring it down evenly squeeze it down and slide the cover lock over. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside the RAM away from each other, just like that. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you wanna do, you wanna slide it back in the same 45 degree angle, like that. Same thing on the bottom one, you slide it, you slide it out. That's how you can remove it. These are a DDR5 mirror RAMs, so you want to make sure you buy the DDR5, not DDR4. And you want to make sure the notch on the RAM right in here matches the notch right in here. It's not exactly center, it's a little off center. So you want to make sure it's aligned and you want to bring it down in 45 degree right inside the jack. Push it like you pinch it in 45 degree inside the jack. Once the pins are in, simply push it toward the motherboard and you want to see these triggers open and close automatically. Same thing on the top one. Bring it on and towards the motherboard. And that's how you can upgrade the RAM for this one. Once remember, once you upgrade the RAM, you power on, it might take five to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a RAM check. It's called a MEM check. If it didn't do a MEM check, you can force a MEM check by just removing both of the RAMs and uh, before putting the, you don't need to put the cover to do this. Remove both of the RAMs and plug in the battery, leave it plugged in. Turn it on, after five to 10 seconds, power it off and plug in the two RAMs and power it on. That way you can force uh, force the motherboard to do their MEM check or the RAM check. All right, once we have this one done, all you need to do, put this flex uh, bottom cover right in here. And we're gonna slide down the flex cables for the back light, I mean, the front light, I guess. Straight under and Put the lock right over. Same thing in here. You want to bring it from the back side there. And lock it there. So you push it under it and just put the lock, slide the lock right over. Once you're done with that, just simply bring the cover over, set it down straight. I did forget to put this isolating sheet right over. There we go. And then bring this one over and then push down. Don't push down on the corner where you have the C-lock screw. Just push on every other corner. You want to hear those nice big click sounds on the front. You can go like this and don't pinch the screen, just open it up and just pinch the bottom cover and the palm rest together, go all around by the fan, places like that so you can see there's a gap right in here. It looks very ugly, it's not focusing. Whenever he wants to focus, it'll be good. Today, there you go. 
So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to open the screen. I'm just going to pinch it. And there you go. Nice. You can see that right in here, this is the C lock. So first thing for this corner one, what I'm going to do, I'm just simply going to screw it down and it's going to push the cover, pull the cover to itself. There we go. And the last thing down here is to put the short screws in the front end and the mediums on the side, the long screws in the middle. Again, I hope that you guys like this video and helped you guys to upgrade your RAM for your ASUS ROG G17 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. Remember, you can put a 32 and 32 gig RAM. That will be fine. It will work just fine.